2024 is here and questions about which engine to use appear. One of the main options here is Godot, which is a free and beginner-friendly game engine. It even gained more popularity thanks to the Unity Fee Chaos, something impossible to happen in Godot due to its open source nature, which means that nobody actually owns it. Today we'll focus on why Godot is one of the best options to choose in 2024, highlighting the main advantages of it. Now let's start. The first reason is being able to learn it very easily, no more spending weeks until actually being to get used to using a new engine. Thanks to its simple interface and simple language, you will be able to learn it with no time. In addition, the amount of tutorials and information out there is just massive also with the well-organized documentation. With all this, the learning curve just takes off. I'd say that if you completely commit to the engine, in a matter of just 2 or 3 days you will get into the swing of it and you will be able to start creating your own games. Other thing that contributes to its easy to learn feature is that it has the enough features in order to create any type of game. Instead of having 3 or 4 ways of doing something, here you probably only have one narrowing down the total amount of features available and path to do the incorrect decision. It may seem that having more than just one way of doing things could benefit you, but it is just the opposite, and even more if you are a beginner. When you are developing, the only thing you want is to reach your objective, you don't really care about the different path that the engine might offer you. That is why in Godot, thanks to the fact that you only have one path in order to get things done, it will contribute to its simplicity and desired results without much errors in the middle. Godot, since its beginning, has been focusing into the game development, releasing different tools and features that helps you create your games in a more efficient way. Countless are the 2D games that are live in the stores, generating amazing amounts of revenue, such as Brotato that generated more than $6 million. The point of this is the fact that right now Guru has one of the best 2D editors out there. All the 2D notes that it contains are time saver and the same happens with its hierarchy system. Also, the 2D environment is mostly used when you are a beginner or not so experienced. This means that if you are a rookie, you'd better use 2D, and with Guido, this process is even easier and less time consuming. We have talked about its 2D potential, but 3D doesn't fall behind. With the 3D engine, the situation is a little bit different from the 2D. The 3D, in spite of working pretty good and being able to reach interesting results, isn't closer to any other engine in terms of power. This doesn't mean there are no 3D games that look outstanding, this means that if you want to achieve phenomenal 3D quality, Godot isn't meant for that job. Unlike 2D that, that right now is quite polished, the 3D still has a long path to be as polished as other engines. However, don't be put off if you want to create 3D games, you can, but don't expect outstanding visual capability. Now, imagine not only having all the features that I have mentioned, but also the possibility of running it in any PC, even if it is a potato. One step more is the fact that you can use it even if you have a mobile. As a result, these unique features allow developers to create and run their games across various platforms without much effort. The Run It Anywhere philosophy of Godot simplifies the game development process, making it accessible to a diverse range of developers regardless of their preferred operating system. This cross-platform com compatibility not only saves time but also enhances collaboration among developers using different systems. In the world of Godot, waiting is a thing of the past. The engine's efficient design ensures that loading times are virtually non-existent. Whether you're opening your game or opening a project, the process is fast, taking less than 2 seconds. This rapid accessibility not only enhances the development workflow but also allows creators to focus on fine-tuning their game without the frustration of length delays. Without scripting system is another incredible feature Compiling scripts is a breeze, eliminating the need for developers to have to deal with prolonged waiting periods. The engine's compilation process ensures that your code changes are quickly applied, facilitating a smooth and uninterrupted creative experience. 
This efficiency is a showcase of Godot's commitment to empowering developers with tools that enhance productivity and minimize unnecessary downtime. Guido is special because it's the only game making tool that is both free and open source. Unlike other tools, you don't have to pay anything to use Guido and its inner workings are open for everyone to see and improve. This means anyone can try their hand at making games without worrying about costs. Guido's openness goes even further, its code is like a recipe that anyone can look at and change to fit their needs. This openness encourages people to work together and share their ideas, making it a friendly and collaborative space for learning and creating. Being the only free and open source game engine, Godot makes game development accessible to everyone, creating a global community where creativity can thrive without any barriers. Even though we've talked about all the good things, it's crucial to know that a perfect game engine doesn't really exist. Every tool has its strengths and weaknesses. So while Godot is fantastic, it's not perfect. It's kind of like finding the best tool for a job. There might be some aspects where Godot shines, but it might not be the ideal choice for every single thing. It's all about figuring out what works best for your specific needs and preferences. In short, while Guru is great for many, it might not be a one-size-fits-all solution. It's important to keep in mind that different projects might benefit from different tools and finding the right fit is all part of the game development journey. Thanks a lot for watching, if the video was helpful please consider subscribing and liking as well. This channel is all about good content so if you are gonna use it subscribe to the channel right now and take your knowledge to the next level. See you in the next one and bye bye.